And we're back after you cough again. Welcome back, everybody. Anyways, so at work today, mm-hmm. I get I get a call. Yes. My ceiling in my kitchen is leaking. Okay, that sounds bad. Okay, no problem. It's actually a common occurrence at our our property. A lot of the times, it's the townhouses um, because up above the kitchen is the uh, bathtub. So sometimes when the bathtub drains get loose, which also happens mm-hmm. um, just from old age, um, it starts to leak downstairs. Unfortunately, this wasn't a townhouse. This was just a regular unit. Oh, no. Uh, but leaking in the kitchen could mean it could be a leaking AC unit, could be um, the toilet overflowing from mm-hmm. upstairs because everything's so fucking condensed um, it could it could even be the the fridge is leaking, you know. Um, but this one was the upstairs kitchen faucet was leaking even while it was turned off because it was leaking out of it had rusted out basically at the bottom of it, mm-hmm. so it couldn't hold the water anymore. So it's dripping downstairs. Why do nanobs look like pomegranates? That's a good question. Especially when there is a palm berry. I anyway. think. Um, so, normally, it would be a 30 minute fix. All right, take everything apart, put in a brand new, um, a new faucet. Yes. This thing had been leaking for so long that the Luan that's underneath the cabinet has fallen down underneath the cabinet. So there's nothing for me to really lay on in order to get everything taken apart, except for the um, the board that's that's right there. If, like when you open up the cabinet, you've got that front board there, and mm-hmm. then the um, the Luan is just in between that. Yeah. So in order to get underneath, I am at a complete arch. With that piece of wood just jabbing me in the back. Yeah, you've already got it like a fucked back, too. Yeah. So it was very uncomfortable. On top of that, I had to take apart all of the plumbing just to get underneath it because of where the drain was. Mm-hmm. Um, it was coming out from the left-hand side of the cabinet. And it was... It comes down from the drain and then ends up doing, like, two P-traps, basically. It goes up. Or, or it comes down for the small U. Yeah. And then it comes back up and then into an L into the cabinet. So in order for me to even fit under there, I had to take all the plumbing apart to get under there. Go to turn the water off just so that I can get started. And the valves to turn the, the water off to the unit don't turn the water off all the way. So now I got to go turn the water off to the entire fucking building to change out a kitchen faucet. You know. Basics. Long, long day in the office. A very long day. Um, this 30 minute fix ends up becoming a four hour event because by the time it got to lunchtime, I got it at least contained enough that I could go and eat and give my back a break. Come back from from uh from lunch and luckily the um connections from underneath a lot of the newer faucets they've got more of like a aluminum or a copper um connections yeah the this one was plastic oh so i said you know what like you're not supposed to use plastic for for uh for stuff like that you can you can um so let me back up a little bit further. The reason it was a problem getting the faucet off is because the people before us loved plumber's putty. Oh. So they put it on fucking everything. Anything that has to screw into something, they put the plumber's putty in. So right there where the um, where the faucet connects underneath, you've got the, um, the plastic... Um, the plastic nuts that basically hold it to to the sink and then you put the 
supply lines on. Mm-hmm. Well, they put so much plumber's putty on there, and it had it, it had been so many years that it basically glued everything together and could not move at all. So I get everything contained. I go to lunch. I come back, and because it was plastic, I was able right to just take the oscillating tool and cut the bitch apart. Good. Um, but the problem on top of that was, even with the water turned off to the building, there was still so much, um, so much pressure in the water lines Mm -hmm. that it was still leaking out. So not only did I have to surgically remove the, the, the kitchen faucet, I had to be fast enough to put the brand new faucet in, uh, uh, detach the old uh, supply lines with it still um, spraying out a stream of water on the hot side Mm -hmm. um, just so that I could hook it all back up to the brand new fucking faucet. That was one work order. All day. All fucking day. Mm. Sometimes... Sometimes the job just makes you just not want to be there anymore. Because if I was a temp and that happened to me, I would have the freedom to be like, yeah, I I, I don't know how to fix that. You're going to have to get a plumber for that. And I'd go on with my day and make my 23 an hour. But instead, because I I work there. Yeah. That's what I would have done. Yeah. Because it's one of those situations of, I know I can do this, but it's going to take me all day. Do I want to deal with this today? No, I do not. And I've got the freedom to not deal with that as a temp. But since it's my property and I have to be there anyway, you know too much. I have to do it. The problem doesn't go away until I do it myself. Mm -hmm. So that that's where I'm at with, uh, with work where it's like, I don't want to go out of my way and do all this shit. It's not happening unless I do it. Yep. And you know that if I don't do it, they're going to bitch about why it's not done. Mm-hmm. So, oh my God, I haven't told you about this. Um, I have a manager uh, named Obi. Uh huh. Who I think I've told you about. He he said I was. He he asked if I was always negative. Yeah. That was the same guy. That's true. But he um, fuck you very much. <laughs> But he, he goes one day, I get, I'm talking to my manager, his name is Kent. Yeah. He goes, oh, Obi gave you a compliment in the manager's meeting the other day. And I go, oh, oh really? Yeah. And he goes, now let me preface this. Oh, no. And I go, the fact that you have to preface it changes the whole statement. Yeah. And he goes, no, I see it was kind of like, like a compliment. <laughs> and the way he was saying it sounded like it was worse, but it was basically he said that, because um, I don't talk to him that much. I don't interact with them as often as other people. Uh-huh. I'm really short. I'm like, hey, what's up? But I'm not going to be like, don't talk to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're not buddy-buddy, but hey, we're we're in this shit together. Yeah. So and we he, might as well say something. He goes, yeah, well, he said that you were... Um, you're really uh you're you're the go-to guy kind of thing like okay like you don't say much but you make sure the job is done kind of person yeah and he's like yeah the only reason i know the only reason you don't say much is because you ain't got much to say to him yeah oh yeah i think you have to face everybody first and then you can start buying moo moo milk here Katie with an eye. What am I doing? I don't know, man. Just gaining experience, it looks like. Yeah. We're gonna need to swap off of Crony. <laughs> yeah. It's just so easy. Crony's so strong. Well, oh, so is wow. Senora. Wow. Is Senora. I didn't Crony. realize that was six levels difference. Yeah. Senorita Pinche. Oh, you, you can buy bottle. several. Yeah, I know. I just I clicked through the menu too fast. One dozen of milks, please. 
I bet it's that good shit too. Like, yeah. have you ever had like a good, like a, you like, wouldn't even like a, a gallon, but like a good thing of milk that's just like, it's gonna sound way, it's gonna sound uh, suggestive, uh -huh. but like a good creamy, like not, not thick, but not like yeah. runny kind of like uh, milk. Yeah. I, good shit. I get that sensation more with the, with specific chocolate milks than I do regular milk though. Like the true moo that I end up oh buying, my God. that that feels feels pretty good. Um, this man just assaulted me with that. I'm a collector. I like honey, dust ox. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, man. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Please. Dust socks flinched. Do you want honey? I've got honey. Yeah, I've got 12 things of it. I can give it to you. When do we get fly? Uh, after... Because I think we get defog. We get defog before fly, I think. Can one of your mini Vaporeons learn defog? Probably. Okay. I don't know if you've even shown it on screen yet. Oh, I but, did. While you okay. were telling that story, I went and I put yeah. I put the Mighty Yenna and uh, and one of the Vaporeons in the fucking daycare. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One of the that Vaporeon is named Leon. <laughs> oh no. Uh, if Vaporeon can't uh can't uh can the Kyogre. No. Because we're going to need oh, defog. defog. I thought we were talking about fucking the Mighty Anna. No. no. <laughs> you said if Vaporeon can't, can Kyogre, and I go, no. no. I'm trying to to make it so that I don't have to put defog on Honchkrow. Let's see. I guess it would be easier just to look up defog. Yeah. All right, yeah, I need like one more attack stat and uh, Senorita Pinky. She has she has left four enemies now on one HP with the stomp. Okay. I didn't show them the Kyogre, by the way. Oh. It's just in the box. Okay. It was just in that pile of Pokemon that are unexplained. Listen, I need the Mighty Ennis Thief because um, one of the TMs I need is on a Drifloon. And I can't hit it with with Covet. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, it looks like I need to catch something that can use Defog. You know what you can do? Mm. Uh, go buy a skull fossil. Oh yeah! And get another hunch crow. You know that is a that is an idea. Nothing stopping you. It's a thousand dollar reduce. I just have to make the the big walk back. Oh, I just got a TM for um, Roos too. Both of these moves can be learned by Honchkrow. What are they? Uh, Shadow Sneak. Uh huh. And Earth Power. Ooh. Let me teach Shadow Sneak. It's just it's just Ghost Quick Attack. Yeah. And Earth Power is special. Mm hmm.
doesn't really have any moves that we want we need to get rid of for shadow seek uh not really okay we'll just hold on to it i'm gonna get rid of um uh pursuit when night slash happens yeah that's at 45 or if i get to the tm for uh protect whoop i forgot about repels here that's fine. That's a uh, that's a reroll. I think. Is it? I don't think we've had Centret. Fur it. Fur it. Oh, we yep. have. There it is. Hell yep. yeah. That's a reroll. Cool. That means I can throw on a repel and not worry about this root either. Yeah. What does defog even do? In uh, accuracy. So it increases accuracy? Fucks up the other person's accuracy. Okay. Well, fog in general fucks up your accuracy. Defog gets rid of it. Togo. <laughs> cool. I could have used you when I was grinding up that slack off. This is the root mm -hmm. that I remember. Yep. Yep. The Kadabra and the and the Gyarados. Uh, Raichu. He has a Raichu, too. Also a Raichu, yeah. I think it's one Gyarados, and then it's the, the Kadabra and the Raichu are on the one person. The Gyarados by one person, then Raichu and Kadabra on the second one. Dennis. <laughs> I was thinking it probably has Leaf Blade, but with Intimidate Cut, how much could it do? Enough. I think this, uh, the going to the Galactic Warehouse in a second, yes. I get that mixed up with what we just did in, uh, Eterna City. Oh, yeah, that'd do it. Yeah, because it's basically the same thing, only, oh, they took my Pokedex. picture vile plume smiling and then i looked at the sprite and as it's sitting there halfway leaned over it's just got a frown <laughs> You know, I thought Rock Smash was going to eventually fall off. It's still pulling its weight at level 30. Well, I mean, it'll, it will, but it's doing pretty well. Yeah. It's good to have a fighting type I'd, I use on a, on a Kingler. Yeah. I just thought that by now we would be regretting putting it on there, but it's it's actually still doing still doing some work. 
I love the it's so short you can barely see the crown. Mm hmm. Big meaty claws. Singular. Claw. Mago. Magoo. I'm a go. Veilstone City. To the to the department store. Yay. Please oh. have please have protect or what are what, give me give me the weather moves. Something. Please. I think it's the next one up. Usually. Yep, it's this one. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hyper voice. Yeah, uh, there all we right, go. All right. You try attack. Nice, nice slash. slash. Yep. Uh, regular slash. We're not going to use Octazooka. The accuracy is shit. Oh, I know. But it's cool to see what Pokemon can learn them. Chatter is a flying move. Yeah, Chatter's not bad. Rock throw. Eh. Uh, Fire, punch. Fire Punch and Hyper Voice are good. Volt Tackle would be good if we get another Pokemon with, like, Rock Head or something. Mm -hmm. Um, Because that's Hyper Beam, so... Oh. 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 That changes a lot. Well, first off. Yeah. Just go ahead and throw that on Crony. Get rid of Pursuit. Well, well, well. Looks like we just found something very interesting. Let's see. I just feel... Why did I want Try Attack? Because it's good. But it's a special. I think... Oh, I know why I want to try attack. I wanted something for the Vaporeon while I was grinding. Oh, well, there you go. You have it now. Cool. Uh, well, Ice Punch. Who can learn Ice Punch? Hell yeah. Okay. Maybe we hold on to Ice Punch until we can, can get rid of Rock Smash. You're right. I wish I had a better... Same with Night Slash, too. Like, Ice Punch and Night Slash on, uh, on Senior, Senorita uh, Pinchy would be fucking great. Sixty-five, eighty-five. Um, Hyper Voice special, Cross Poison. Anyone? No. Not yet. Anyway. Fire Punch. Okay. So, Senorita Pinchy can learn Fire and Ice Punch. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Sure, give me the counter app. Big number, get big. It's pretty cool. What about the game corner? I'll just buy those TMs if I need to. Can we still get Pokemon uh, at this game corner as well? Uh, I don't remember. Oh. Yeah. Tell me what my hidden power is. It's a bug. Dragon. Okay. How do I get a coin case? TM13. Mm. I remember 13 being good, but I don't remember what it is. It should be Ice Beam still. Yeah, but I don't remember what the randomized move is. Right. Is that Looker playing on the fucking slots? Probably, because he's a fuck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope he loses all his money. Who are we kidding? He ain't playing with money. 
Not with our, not without, not with his money. No. Okay. So, okay. Just guessed. So his changes at least. Okay. Ooh, massage. For any friendship Would be friendship mons, mons yeah. yeah. Why does this look like a thing? It probably is with the dowsing machine. Nope. I guess not. Okay. Well, fuck. Remember a guy had a giraffe rig over here or something? Yeah, he's further north. Those are the Deoxys stones. Oh, I guess not. Or maybe it it was that guy down there, but he just doesn't have his giraffe rig here because it's not the remakes. Oh, flies in the galactic hide out. Oh, okay, cool. Neat. Can you check for the razor claw? Yeah. Because if we can buy that now, that would be great. Power Bracer. Hmm. That's all. That's that's full heals. That's worth it. Go ahead and drop like yeah. Hey, buy one of them. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why I was just staring at those, but I wasn't reading them. And I'm like, one of these has got to be good, right? Yeah. I'm like, you can fucking, you can read it. Why are you not reading it? I caught myself dissociating. Oh, I don't have a popping case. Rare bone. Hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Not gonna buy that, I guess. Interesting. I wonder if all these shops are randomized. I don't think so. Well, There's maybe. The protect oh my god! But it's okay. I've already, I've already, I've already, I've already, gra I've got the one. We've only got one. Yeah. Get that. This would be great if all of them are. Looks like they are because that's not their usual mo uh, items. Yeah. Oh, you're the you're the doll guys. Yep. That's a pretty good haul. Yeah. Root and armor fossil. Not bad. Those are probably my last two. Tch, 
Okay. Oh, I think it was also in this series where I talked about uh, watching the new season of The Boys. Mm -hmm. So this is all we've recorded in the last like four days. So it's had to be this. So in episode two, Uh they bring in the actor who plays Chuck. Yes, I have seen a clip of him. Jim Beaver. I, uh, I think. No, I think Jim Beaver is uh, is Bobby, is it not? Oh, yeah. right. I got the mixed up. Chuck. So, but I did see Bobby in it. Yeah, Bobby's in it. He's he's running for president right now in the show. Um, so Chuck is there. He is like Duplicate Man. He can split his body. That's actually his, uh, his superhero name is Split. Oh, here's um, the Porygon. Yeah, you found the Porygon. Um... Do I want it? I don't know. I feel like we've got so much room and a master ball. Let me, um, unless you want it for your run, um, I don't, I, I'm not going to commit to it. I got the sneezel, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Uh, so he can, he can split several different ways, um, to make copies of himself. And uh, I never thought that within a 30 minute span that I would see God, I would see God eat his own ass and see God's dick all within a span of 30 minutes before he dies. Why not? I, it wasn't in my, I didn't think it would, it would get that fucked up that fast. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm using up some of the money. Yeah, that's fine. But it was nice to see Chuck. <laughs> Good to see him He's... still knuckle deep in his work. Oh boy, <laughs> was he. <laughs> the hilarious part about it was when they, uh, when they ambushed the boys, some of the clones were like... Um, Having That's problems, 10, okay. Having problems seeing, because um, they had the onset of pink eye. <laughs> mm. So as soon as I saw that, my first my first reaction was, "That's how you get pink eye." <laughs> and it just so happens. Oh man, it was it was wild. It was it was a wild episode. Uh, before I forget, I've been meaning to show you a clip from uh, one of those deadlock. Uh, reviews they were going over uh, an episode where Undertaker was doing spooky shit at Randy Orton okay and he goes oh and then Undertaker puts uh, writing on the screen like a fucking Tumblr post from <laughs> early 2000s uh huh um fear not the whatever the fuck and there's like Dante it's like I don't remember him saying that <laughs> and they go I wasn't supposed to work today Dante Oh. Followed by um, In a Row. <laughs> <laughs> I go, are you fucking serious? Wow. <laughs> These guys. All right. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing next. I yeah. might need to go level some. Yeah, you might. I, I honestly don't think you do. I think you can take on this gem with what you got. <laughs>